Hello everyone and welcome to my August wrap up. So I have seven books to talk about in this video, which isn't too bad. Obviously it's nowhere near as big as my last month's wrap up because I read like record amounts of books in July. It was literally crazy. And obviously I wasn't expecting to read as much again this month. Um, so technically I have actually read 10 books this month because I also read the entire His Dark Materials trilogy for a year -a So 10 books in a month, that's a pretty good average reading month for me really. Um, in terms of other areas of my life, Life. I've not really had a great August if I'm going to be honest I'm still full of anxiety and ridiculousness but I'm just really happy that August is finally over and hopefully September will be a better month for me so of the seven books I'm going to talk about in this video one of them I gave three stars to five of them I gave four stars to and one of them I gave five stars to so I'm going to start off with the book that I gave three stars to and that is the Burning Girl by Claire Massoud. I did write a full review of this on my blog, so I will leave a link to that review in the description down below. Essentially, this is a coming-of-age story about two best friends who start to drift apart as they grow up. One of them has a lot of um, family tragedy in her life and family drama, so um, she starts descending down a dark and dangerous path, and basically it's just about her best, tr best friend trying to uh, save their friendship and bring her back to the girl that she knew when they were younger. Um, I did enjoy it. Um, I think I just wanted a little bit more story there because it did literally revolve around these girls' friendship the entire time and I think I just wanted a little bit more to happen um more events I think more exciting events to happen um, I did like the writing style for the most part although it was a little bit repetitive at times um, so there were some lovely quotes in there though I'm going to say that so yeah I would say it was three stars I didn't absolutely love it um, and I wouldn't reread it again but um, it was an okay coming of age story so yeah maybe give my review a read if you are more interested now on to the books that I gave four stars to this month and one of those was A Geekerella by Ashley Aposton. This wasn't actually on my TBR for this month but I know a lot of people have been reading it and loving it recently and I had it on my Kindle and I was just in the mood for something really light and fluffy so I thought I would just pick it up. So this is essentially a nerdy retelling of Cinderella and there are a lot of Cinderella parallels in this and they were really really fun to pick out. So essentially we're following Elle who is obsessed with this sci-fi TV show called Starfield and Starfield is getting a reboot and the the main character has been cast as this very hot popular actor uh, who her stepsisters are obsessed with but Elle is a little bit skeptical of him she feels that he's like this bimbo actor and he's probably never heard of Starfield and therefore he's not going to be able to do the character justice or anything like that um, little does she know though he is actually a massive Starfield fan so we get um, dual perspectives between Elle and um, this actor guy who is called Darian and um, Elle is actually the um, daughter of the founder of a sci-fi convention her dad was um he set up this sci-fi convention because he was a massive starfield fan too and obviously because darian is going to be the lead in the reboot of starfield he will be at the convention this year and basically it's about how l and darian's lives intertwine um culminating at the um, convention it's just really really cute story if you like the story of Cinderella or if you like the whole culture of fandoms and sci-fi and um, all of that kind of stuff then yeah I would definitely recommend it. it was really cute really funny so yeah also this month I gave four stars to The Unholy Cause by Joe Schreiber. This is a supernatural fan fiction story and in this story Sam and Dean are um, sent to this civil war reenactment camp where things have got a little bit too real, a little bit too violent and bloody and um, there is demonic activity going on and basically they have to sort it out. Um, it was just a really fun classic supernatural story. You've got all of the normal ingredients, you've got demonic activity, you've got violence, you've got blood, you've got an attractive female detective. Um, Castiel is in this story as well which is always a bonus. I just love the stories with Cass in. So um, yeah it was just really really fun and yeah I would definitely recommend it to Supernatural fans. Also this month I gave four stars to I'll Give You the Sun by Jandy Nelson. This is a very popular YA contemporary book about twins Noah and Jude and Noah is giving us the story from when they were 13 and Jude is giving it to us from when they were 16 and basically it's just about all the stuff that's happened in their lives. During these time periods there is family drama, there is a lovely recurring theme of art because both of the twins are very into art. Um, there is obviously romance thrown in, there's a lot of teenage angst, there's a lot of coming of age. Um, and and it was just really, really lovely. I really loved it. Loved the writing style, which I knew I would love anyway because I love The Sky is Everywhere by Jandy Nelson. Um, so yeah, it was just a really lovely big chunk of Teenage Shanks. It was a lot of emotion in there as well. Um, so yeah, 
would definitely recommend it. Also this month I gave four stars to a Did You See Melody by Sophie Hanna. This is an adult thriller about a woman who basically drops everything in her life in the UK um, because she's highly stressed, she's got a lot going on and she just needs to get out of there. So she literally leaves her husband and her kids for a couple of weeks. She gets on a plane to Arizona and she ends up in this beautiful spa retreat for a couple of weeks where she just literally needs to clear her head and be by herself. So when she checks into her hotel room, she discovers a man and a little girl already in there so when she goes back down to reception to explain the situation she is um, immediately upgraded to another room and um, basically an eccentric guest at the spa hotel keeps talking about this girl called Melody who she has seen alive and well in the hotel and everyone just thinks that she's this crazy old lady um, our main character doesn't actually know who this Melody is but after some digging on the internet she finds out that Melody is a high profile murder victim um, who everybody in the, U the US knows about after a little bit, bit, more, bit more digging she discovers that Melody is actually the little girl that she saw in her hotel room and a lot of stuff happens after she actually finds out um, but it was really really good really exciting um, it was a little bit predictable in places which I really don't like with thrillers but um, the final chapter just really really threw me and just completely made me realise that there was a lot going on here and a lot that really wasn't certain at the end and I love thrillers that do that. I was actually all ready to give this a three stars and then I read the final chapter and it just completely blew me away. I did actually write a full review of this on my blog as well so I will leave a link to that review in the description down below so yeah give it a read if you are interested. Also this month I gave four stars to Final Girls by Riley Sager and this is another adult psychological thriller about these three final girls who are all um, survivors of separate killing sprees and then one of the final girls ends up dead, um, supposed suicide but there are lots of things that make you think okay maybe this is somebody else is doing and um, our main character Quincy is the survivor of a massacre of her high school friends and the remaining final girls girl shows up at Quincy's door basically wanting to talk about this other final girl that has just died and um, a lot of mystery and stuff is surrounding this girl and we're really not sure about her pretty much right from the beginning. Um, there's a lot of characters in this who you are a little bit a little bit iffy on and you don't really know who they're telling the truth and nobody really seems to be who they say they are. There are a lot of secrets uncovered. I didn't see the ending coming at all so it was really really fast paced. Really really loved it and yeah I would definitely recommend it if you like your adult psychological thrillers. Very violent, very mysterious so yeah. And the last book that I read this month I gave five stars to and I would thoroughly, thoroughly recommend this book and that is The Loneliest Girl in the Universe by Lauren James. And essentially this is about a girl who is the sole survivor on a spaceship and um, basically she has been on this spaceship her whole life and we don't really know until the end what's happened to the rest of the crew and then she hears about another spaceship that has been launched from Earth with another sole passenger in it who is a guy and she starts sending messages to him and even though they take ages and ages to get to each other, in some cases like a couple of years, she finds herself falling in love with him. And then as his spaceship gradually catches up to her ship, um, they eventually do meet. And that's where this book takes a completely different turn. There were so many points in this book where I thought, OK, it's all settled down now. And then something else crazy and dramatic and terrible would happen. Um, it was just not what I was expecting at all. I was expecting a cutesy little sci-fi romance and... That that's really not what it was, not at all. So if you are looking for something that is completely dark and really, really crazy and will just make you think, then yeah, I would definitely recommend this. I did actually write a full review of this on my blog too. So maybe give that a read if you um, are more interested. And I really think that you should be interested in this book because it was really, really different. I raced through it. It was like a couple of hundred pages and I read it in one sitting. I couldn't put it down. It was just constantly keeping me guessing. So yeah, would definitely recommend this. And that is it for my August wrap up. What books did you read this month? Please let me know. I will leave all of my social media in the description down below. I hope you're having an awesome day and I will see you very soon for another another video. Bye bye!